I would say that there's really no difference in servers in terms of like skill level, uh, toxicity, anything like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was thinking someone would come out here right away. At least I was hopeful. All right. There we go. That way we can catch right back up. And just like that. Ooh, they got that gen up there done. Okay. Fair enough. But one of the things you can do with Clown is you can, if you're going to hit somebody, you can throw a yellow bottle in front of you, then hit them, and you will catch up to them very quickly. And hello, everyone from the Panda stream. I hope you're all doing great today. I think that was a direct hit. No, it wasn't. We would have gotten something for it. Cool. I actually didn't get that, unfortunately. Cool. And there we go. So far, able to deny everything. So just like that, stream was good. 13 hours and your ass hurts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you definitely stream longer than I do. I'm like four or five and I'm good. That is it for me. I got to get to work on videos typically after that time frame. Unlucky. So just like this, he's dropped it now, right? So he feels pretty good. He's probably going to... Oh. All right. Definitely not the call. Oh, my God. There's too many people here. Someone else actually was here. Oh, well. I'm going to come here before they go for the save. You know what? Actually. Come here. I can't be too nice. We literally have no slowdown. So I think she's giving up. We'll go for him. We'll be nice. I don't want her to give up. We'll kind of ruin the whole idea of the, the game. Oh, nice. Thankfully, we have to say the best for last. Unlucky. Let's see. Oh, wow, I got stuck. There we go, that works. Nice dead on in his part, though. If I. The, what you should have done is actually picked her up and hooked her, and even if she had decisive, you'd eat it, but she was gonna kill herself on hook, so I don't want the game to end just yet. I'm okay with, like, losing a game if we at least get to play the full game. This just makes me want to properly learn. There's a lot of things you can do with Clown, and we're running full chase. So, I mean, like, the game can still get out from under us really quickly. We do have to be careful. Honestly, you'd want to bring at least something like Jolt. Facing her here means that someone else will have to go for the save, or she's going to have to make a swap. And it looks like she's going to be choosing to go for the uh, swap. Oh, wow. She actually messed up really bad. I got dissolution up, so she's gonna go for this save, and then we're gonna get value off of it. Nice. Ooh, nice. No. Nope, can't throw it. 
I see. We can't play too nice, though. Again, game will get out from under us really quickly. Alright. He was healing somebody, so we don't have to worry about him having decisive strike. And there we go. They all got healed up, though. Not even a swap? No, she messed up. She can't go to the pallet. She knew she was going to break it. But now, same thing. Dissolution comes up. And we can just kind of hold it forward. Ooh. Unlucky. How far away did she get? Pretty far. Not really someone I'm interested in too much. She dropped down. Hi. Dude, you are unlucky. Incredibly unlucky, actually. Her dropping down got him killed, by the way. Because I heard her drop down, so I knew I was good. There we go. Wait, did I see that right? Hitting the survivor with a bottle gets rid of bloodlust? Yes, because you're using your power. Anytime you use your power. Is it proper to break pallets running dissolution? Uh, I mean, it depends. It depends on the map. It depends on, like, what survivors you're going against, what uh, pallets. For example, I should break this pallet. Technically speaking. Because it's a god pallet. So... I just didn't feel the need to do it a while ago. I was kind of still figuring out what was going on in terms of where people were. I see. She'll move over here. She'll drop down. She'll go for the save. There we go. Dissolution's up. He'll vault it. He can't vault it, so he moves away. And there we go. Cool. Who's the best DVD player? Don't know. There's not really a way of finding out. Some people like to use the high scores. I don't think that makes sense, but some people like to use the high scores. The only way you'd be able to find the best player would be, like, an actual competitive scene for Dead by Daylight. Are they back there, you think? Right here. Blood kind of gave her away. Ooh, and I get to save some stacks. Cool. It shouldn't show survivors when dissolution is up. In my opinion, it always allows them to counterplay it. Well, they weren't able to counterplay it there, even though they knew they had it. I think it just means we have to adapt in how we use it. Like, that'd be the best way, I would say, to think about dissolution. Is, yes, survivor knows that they can't go to that pallet, so it still doesn't stop its value, right? We got both of them here. Nice. I see. Not as interested. Cool. Oh, wow. You actually didn't go. Kind of surprised me a bit. <laughs> Dome shot, though. My God. He wasn't ready at all. All right. Now we just hold forward. Dissolution takes care of every pallet in our way. If he decides to play them. If he doesn't play them, we just hold forward and down them anyways. What? 
There goes the pallet. Cool. We got that pallet broken. So close. The Felix did the smart thing by saving the pallet. Wasting killer time because he knew it was up. It's just less value. No, not really, though. He didn't... Like, he didn't save any more time. He wasn't being more time efficient by going up and not vaulting. It equated to the same thing. He was just put into a lose-lose situation because of the perk. And it allows me to save, uh... Save time and not really have to worry about breaking really any perks. Unlucky in my part here. I see. Cool. Nice, got just at the very end. <laughs> she went back up. The only thing she has access to is a vault here. And there we go. Pretty smooth can't complain like overall the game has been really smooth even for like a pure chase build we just can't be as nice so we we really shouldn't not get a survivor out of the game right away so if you ever get the chance to kind of get someone out you should always take it why are you destroying pallets as much this game uh one pa uh clown actually plays really well around pallets and then two we have dissolution and blood favor oh crows came back she's here Right? Yeah. There we go. He loses a chase, but the pallet can be preserved for later. Not a huge difference, but sometimes it can be knowing. But the thing is, though, is like we're not... Again, it's just thinking about being more dead zones for Survivor. It's still a dead zone. It's just a time efficiency in terms of like actually breaking. So, if you break a pallet whenever you're in chase, a lot of people have this thing where they break way too many pallets in chase. It's very common for killers just to break every single pallet. It's such a bad play. Most pallets you actually can play around, especially with Clown. Wow, Eerie of Crows. We've only had, like, we've had bad maps all night. Like, really large maps. I'm kind of, like, surprised. So, there's a double-edged sword when it comes down with, like, large maps in general for knockout builds. The upside is that, you know... You get the perks. Let me do this real quick. All right, let's move through. You get the uh, perks of, like, knockout because it's such a large map. But the downside is that it's such a large map, you might not be able to get around enough. Hi. <laughs> I just pelted her with bottles. There's no reason for that, by the way. You don't get anything more. It was just funny to me. And I live my life on, like, comedy. Unfortunate that it's our uh, obsession. Cool. Let's hold it forward. Oh, guess I don't see. Hi. Oh, that was a bad throw. Thank you. They got her. That's really unfortunate. 
Let's do this. I'm not getting a ton of information. The downside with being a big map is that we don't get value off of infectious. Which is really what you want. Alright, they're probably gonna go back over here to this gen. Oh. I thought I heard that gen have progress. So then, most likely, I really shouldn't use this right now. I should wait. They're gonna heal after the gen. Now, the question is, I'm going to use one here. The question is, are they going to heal up? Yes, they did. Cool. It means we get a little bit of knockout value. Wrong bottle. Oh, well. Hi. Now we get our movement speed. Cannot allow it. All right, let's get her on a hook, actually. You still want a hook with a slug build, by the way. You just want to, like, slowly whittle away down on survivors. Okay. There we go. So they're going to find both of them, then. There we are. Hi. Definitely the survivor I'm looking for. Cool. Kind of awkward. Really awkward. Oh my gosh. They're trying to heal up and reset. Dual value? Oh, yeah. That is, like, why it's so good with slug builds. Especially since there's no cooldown now. Howdy. Not really who I want, but it works. We don't care that much about... There we go. We don't care that much about our stacks. Like, we still want to just down people. That's definitely the most effective thing there. Nice. Well, that's almost dead. So it'll be a lot harder to find, I think, this time. Oh, maybe not. She tried so hard to get out of that corner. Like, poor Claudette, man. Hi. <laughs> Takes a lot of focus for this, too. So, sorry if I'm not talking as much. Slug builds, you gotta kind of like micromanage everything and remember where everyone was. Hi. Right. She'll stay there and pick that person up. It's like the first, like, you know, the first thing you see, you're just gonna start doing. So there we go. Have you ever been in a killer, killer in a competition? I've uh, scrimmed against a few, but I don't ever have time to do an actual competition. I don't have an actual five-man team. There we go. Hey, I've been watching your YouTube vids a lot. First time catching the stream. Quick question. Do you find Terror Radius builds effective or for the memes? It's definitely for the memes. That is something, too. Like, obviously, if you're playing a slug build, be ready for uh, any salt that might come your way. Nice. 
Oh, but where do we go now, gamer? Yeah, but that's how you play Clown at Shack when the pallet's up. And there we go. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.